The Queen had words with Prince Harry over his difficult bride Meghan Markle's preferred choice of wedding tiara, it was claimed today. The Duchess of Sussex was said to have had her heart set on a tiara containing emeralds but was told she couldn't wear it because the green stones might have come from Russia, The Sun reports. A royal insider told the newspaper that the Queen stepped in and told Harry, she gets what tiara she's given by me. The Queen also questioned why Meghan needed a veil for the wedding, given it was to be her second marriage, the source alleged, adding that, Meghan can be difficult. Meghan has never mentioned the alleged row and said last month how fortunate she felt about being able to choose Queen Mary's diamond and platinum bandeau tiara from the Queen's private collection. Her good relationship with Her Majesty, and their recent joint engagements, are known to be a great source of pride for Harry. Today's claims are not in Robert Jobson's new book Charles at 70, Thoughts, Hopes and Dreams. But it does say Harry was said to have been petulant and short-tempered in the build-up to the Windsor Castle wedding. He allegedly told staff with a raised voice, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets and when reports of his tiresome behavior reached the Queen who asked to see her grandson privately and she put him firmly in his place, Mr. Jobson wrote. Meghan picked the tiara from the Queen's collection during a visit to Buckingham Palace with Prince Harry. And she gave no hint that it wasn't her first choice. She described her visit to see the Queen and choose a headpiece for her wedding as an incredibly surreal day. Meghan and Prince Harry recorded their memories of the wedding for an audio commentary that is part of the new Relive the Royal Wedding exhibition at Windsor Castle, which opened last month. Speaking about the tiara she wore, Meghan said, When it came to the tiara on the day, I was very fortunate to be able to choose this gorgeous Art Deco-style bandeau tiara. Harry and I had gone to Buckingham Palace to meet with Her Majesty the Queen to select one of the options that were there, which was an incredibly surreal day as you can imagine. And that was the one that, I think, as we tried them on, stood out. She added, I think it was just perfect because it was so clean and simple, and also to that point, an extension of what Claire, Wade Keller, and I had been trying to do with the dress which was have something that could be so incredibly timeless but still feel modern. Harry joked in the commentary, every girl's dream to be able to try on it tiara, and, funnily enough, the one that suited the best, the one that looked the best on you without question, I shouldn't have really even been there, but such an incredible loan by my grandmother, it was very sweet. When Harry and Meghan's romance was revealed in December 2016 the Queen was one of their main cheerleaders. The Queen was apparently charmed by her and was fully supportive of her grandson's relationship with the actress and was delighted to see Harry in a loving relationship. In June, a month after she married Harry, she showed her growing bond with the Queen as the pair carried out their first official engagements together in Cheshire. Meghan, 36, and the monarch. 92, were obviously getting on famously, with Meghan giggling and whispering into the Queen's ear while watching a children's performance at the opening of a new bridge across the River Mersey in Witness. It was around ten months after her own nuptials before the Duchess of Cambridge undertook a similar day of events, and was viewed as a sign of royal confidence in the former actress.